Hello viewers, for DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a walkthrough and review on this OBD2 Bluetooth ThinkCar2 code reader. This is a subscription-based service. The first year is free. It's included in the initial price of the reader and the app is also free. I will be doing a comparison and review of their pro version, so be sure to keep an eye out for that to determine which model fits your needs best. A link to this will be included in the video description. I ran into a couple technical difficulties with this app that's listed in the installation manual. With their helpful support team, considering I'm on iOS, they recommended me using their Think Diagnostic app instead with the red logo. ThinkCar scanners and apps seem to be interchangeable, which is great for their flexibility between their products. This transmits over a Bluetooth signal to your smartphone, works both with Android and iOS devices. You'll see me using this on an iPhone. Going over its features and information on the back side of the packaging, it's able to do a full system scan, vehicle health detection, full system read and clear diagnostic trouble codes, full system live data stream, generating charts with combined data, more than 100 vehicle brands supported for their full system diagnosis, diagnostics cover all vehicles that support OBD protocol after 1996, so this would mean OBD2. Intelligent vehicle model identification via VIN, compact and portable with a dust and vibration proof design. Full system diagnosis includes ECM, TCM, ABS, SRS, BCM, EPS, IC, TP, MS, AC systems, etc. First impression just by the packaging, I have to say it's extremely well presented. Also included is detailed instructions for setup in a variety of languages, along with a serial number and activation code to register the scanner. There's an LED on the face of the scanner which will determine when it has power and will change color once connected to Bluetooth. Now for the hands-on setup, first is going to the App Store, you'll need to download the ThinkCar Pro app which is free. Being that I am using iOS, as mentioned earlier, you may need to use the ThinkDiog app instead which has the red logo. Locate your diagnostic port, the port should be within 3 feet or 91 centimeters of the steering wheel. Once that app has been downloaded, I've already preloaded the app. Now it's creating an account for the app. I've already done this, so I only need to enter my email address and password. When signing in for an account, you will be given a verification code. That code gets sent to your email and this will need to be entered in the app. One account works across all their apps and any products you register with them is transferred across the various apps as well. Here's the main screen of the app. This has a slightly different layout than compared to the other app, but overall they are very straightforward and similar. Software updates are automatically done ensuring both the scanner and app are functioning correctly. Clicking on my devices, this will allow you to register scanners on your account. As you can see I have two scanners registered here. Activating a new scanner is as simple as pressing on the activation icon at the top right. This will prompt a screen where you're required to enter a serial number and activation code, which is specific to each scanner. If you toggle between scanners on your phone, make sure you have the box checked for that model you're using. Clicking on gadgets, here you can see some extra features beyond scanning. This is a generic app used across many of their scanner models. This particular model does not have a battery testing feature. Repair info is some preloaded data to learn operation and functions on some modules. Next we have a flashlight. This will toggle the built-in light on your smartphone. And finally is a timer to test your 0 to 60 or 0 to 100 times. This will work on your smartphone's GPS. This should only be done in a controlled environment, not on public streets. Reports, this is where your saved data will be from previous scans. Coverage list, this is where you can see if your vehicle is supported by the app. So you can check this before purchasing the scanner. Simply type in the info for your vehicle and view the list. Now for scanning the vehicle, ensure you do have your Bluetooth enabled and this will allow the scanner to work wirelessly. Press VIN scan, this will typically take about a minute to perform the scan. Doing a full system diagnosis will scan all the modules in your vehicle. Once done, it'll show my VIN along with the year, make and model of my vehicle. Next, moving on to the health report. This is where the scanner does a full system check. This includes any engine fault codes, ABS, SRS, HVAC systems, etc. 
Other scanners available on the market only check your engine fault codes unless you're getting into something more expensive. This will take up to a few minutes to scan the data. Once it has completed, I'll go over all the fault codes which were scanned. Unfortunately, my truck does have a few more fault codes than normal as the old battery was on its way out which threw a code. Disconnecting the battery activated another code and when redoing my audio system, I had most of the interior components disconnected when powering up the radio which triggered even more codes. When done, here's the full system report. Any system that has any faults present, it'll be listed under the title. So as you can see, the PCM has no fault codes, while the TCM has one, the ABS has five, and so on. Clicking on the PCM, you'll be directed to another menu where you can see the module information. This will list the part number along with the registration to the vehicle. Many newer vehicles, their modules are coded specific to that vehicle. While some are interchangeable, others may require programming to work properly. In some cases, this may throw a fault code saying it's not registered to your vehicle. You can read the specific codes for that module. As you can see, none are here. Clear fault codes. And then read live stream data for specific sensors and parameters which helps with troubleshooting. Some of these will require the engine to be running. Checking the engine or ambient temperatures, here's an example. Moving on to the TCM, again the module info can be viewed. If you have a faulty module, with some being specific to your vehicle's year, engine size, drive system, etc., it'll provide you with a part number to find the correct replacement. It'll even list the manufacturer of that module too. Again, reading those fault codes, one is present here. The data can be freeze frame to remember it for the future. A feature I particularly like here, beyond the code definition, an option is offered to make a search through Google providing more information to a possible problem specific to that fault, which can aid in troubleshooting or a repair. Again, we can clear the fault codes and read live data streams. While I have plenty of fault codes here, some of these codes overlap between the modules, so there's less than what's actually shown number-wise. It should be noted that a code reader is only intended to be an assist for troubleshooting faults. Erasing a code doesn't necessarily solve a problem. Some of these codes present in my truck, the issue has been resolved, so some codes may disappear on their own, while others may need to be manually erased using a code reader such as this. Now on to the system scan. This is very similar to a health report. System scan will show which modules are present in the vehicle. You're able to click on each module to find the information along with any present fault codes. Any fault codes can be erased from here too. For system selection, this too is very similar to the previous two menus. Instead of doing a complete system scan, you can select each individual module and perform an individual scan. This does save some time if you're working on something specific. Back onto the main menu, selecting maintenance function, with many newer vehicles, you'll start getting into options where a scanner tool is required for repairs. This includes anything from resetting oil lights, bleeding the ABS system, programming new keyless remotes, programming the battery, etc. With this particular model of scanner, you do get two free maintenance software options, which is ABS bleeding and to calibrate the steering wheel angle. Not all vehicles have these options, and be sure to look at their application list to ensure it applies to your vehicle. As you can see, something like the TPMS software, my truck doesn't have this, but if yours does, you can see how you'd go about purchasing this feature. OBD functions, this will scan any engine faults. At the moment, I don't have a check engine light, therefore no codes are present. Here you'll be able to scan any codes, check the system readiness, view descriptions of the codes, view live data, just like what was shown earlier, freeze frame data, clear codes, check to see if your vehicle is set up for emissions testing, and module information. On to the last features of the app. Scrolling through the options, at the bottom of the screen, next to the main menu is the shopping cart. Here you'll be able to see any products offered by Think Car. The middle tab is Think Car's service data screen. You'll have released information for any new products, software, sales, etc. Now is the messaging center, similar to a social media style page to keep an eye on any mentions, comments, likes, etc. And finally is your personal information. With this particular model, you can scan up to three different vehicles. For additional vehicles, there will be an added price. For working at home, this is a great tool and tailored towards that. For more of a professional device, you'll want to keep an eye out on their other product, which I'll be reviewing in the upcoming weeks. Settings is the gear at the top right of the screen. Here you can change your measurement systems, audio, password, clear cache, and view your current app version. Reports are any safe scan data. 
Orders are from previous purchases. Diagnostic feedback is your scanning history information. Bluetooth firmware fix is the manual install override to fix any issues which you may be experiencing. Firmware fix is the same. This will do a manual install if you're experiencing any issues. And an option to contact ThinkCar if needed. For those working at home on your own vehicles, this is a great tool to have and assist in any repairs. It's an affordable scanner and has many features which more expensive scanners do not have while not getting into those professional scanners used in repair shops. I like the idea of having something easily portable. You can easily keep it in your vehicle. If you ever encounter an error while driving or some fault codes may be intermediate, having this on hand gives you immediate access to those codes, especially when most of us carry a smartphone with us 99% of the time. Being that it uses a phone for an output and control device, there's less to worry about going wrong with the reader. The interface on the app is very straightforward. Even if you're uncomfortable using a smartphone, you shouldn't have any problems using this app. I'm especially impressed with the feature where you're able to view further diagnostic code information through Google. There are plenty of communities or forums where people have experienced a similar issue, so this allows you to go straight to the point. Have you purchased this product in the past? Please be sure to share your experiences in the comments below. New videos are released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.